So Lokesh, can you please let us know what are some of the untapped opportunities <laughs> in Six Sigma throughout Asia? I mean, see, there's a lot of opportunities in terms of uh, Six Sigma is a, because it's, it's a process improvement. At the end of the day, uh, any process would become null and void over a period of time. So you, you have to constantly up, upgrade yourself. I mean, the, the near short-term solutions and even a couple of long-term solutions using Six Sigma is the right way to do. And uh, probably you, you need a process improvement solution within, say, a month or so or a two month or so, the best solution would be to use a lean methodology and that's the right way to do. And what are some of the challenges you see in implementing Six Sigma throughout Asia? Lots. Lots of challenges but uh, again, uh, to give a brief insight in terms of what are the typical challenges, it's cultural. Basically, uh, the company may not be ready and uh, other part uh, is, oh you know you black belts are costly, you cost us a lot of money but I really don't know uh, where the money comes from and then uh, Typically these are the challenges which we face and the support, the typical support system not being in place. And to counter that the best way to do or implement Six Sigma would be to have a complete buy-in from the senior management level. A, a top-down approach would be good, but that's not all. Just mere top-down approach doesn't give you a, a good uh, solution or a good implementation. The best way is to have a via media, technically have a complete 100% buy-in of the top management and then slowly start getting in uh, people at every level to support the journey. Six Sigma is being implemented uh, industry-wide, regardless of industry. Yes. How is it being, how is it evolving from what it was when it started by Motorola 20 years ago to what it is now? <laughs> okay, that's a good question. I mean, uh, I've always seen uh, I used to wonder, will, will uh, Six Sigma ever succeed in probably a country like India? But today, I would uh, say it's it's been fairly successful. There are a couple of industries and uh, uh, sectors which are using Six Sigma to the core. From the way back when Motorola started and today, there is a lot of improvement, I would say, and 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 even the methodology has slightly changed. I mean. It's not mere Six Sigma anymore. There are a lot of other tools, techniques, like say Lean, which is not new, I would say. It's rather age-old methodology, but I mean, end of the day, the process remains same. It's how you implement it. You, you may choose to call it Lean, or you may choose to call it Six Sigma. You may not even choose to call it anything. But end of the day, if you use those tools and techniques, and you get a result, it's, there's a lot of changes. Uh, like that which has happened and I would say it's more mature now. Finally, how can a conference such as this help enhance the Six Sigma sector throughout the industry, throughout industries worldwide? Yeah, actually uh, I've been attending uh, IQPC conferences across. I mean, I've been to Orlando, I've been to uh, London, Singapore. I was here a couple of years back as speaker again. Uh, but definitely it helps us in terms of getting new inputs, uh, getting to understand, uh, meet different people, uh, and look at new technologies, new methodologies, and new. Uh, also get to interact with practitioners, which actually helps us get, gain a lot of insight. Probably something might not work in my industry, but probably my talking to someone from, say, a pharma sector or, say, manufacturing, I may gain something which I can go back and implement in my own sector like services. So this conference technically helps me in getting a lot of insights, I would say.